Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're still going on our rotary craft and we're actually going to be doing some ore processing today with the uh, extractor. Now the extractor um, is like the macerator or the pulverizer, except you can actually get more ore out of this. Uh, about, you can get about five ingots or so out of one piece of ore, sometimes more or sometimes less. So let's uh, just get started onto it. Um, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to make some um, lubrication pipes. So let's just make them. And they're made similar to how the uh, liquid pipes are, not that one, this table. They're made similar to the liquid pipes from Rotary Craft. So three glass down the middle. And then what you need is planks, just ordinary wooden planks on the side. And you get about 16. So you chuck them out there, we we'll use that for later. And we're also going to have to make a going to make some bevel gears. Um, mainly because the extractor its uh, input is on the bottom. So we're going to divert some of our shaft power upwards. And the bevel gear allows you to take shaft input from one direction. And depending on what settings you use, uh, output to the left, the top. Uh, straight through, down, all the sides, whichever way you want to go. And okay, so if I can remember how to make this, so I think it's lag. I know you're there. And then a gear in the middle. So you've got the two shaft units, uh, a HSL, a steel ingot in the corner, and then you get about four of them. So we're only going to need to be using one for today. I've already made a another gasoline engine. We made one in the last episode, so check that if you want to know how to make that. Um, and then the next thing we need to make is uh, the extractor itself, right? But uh, there's one bit that goes in here that we haven't done before, and it's just the uh, I think it's a let's go. We'll find out what it is. So this one should do it. So I'm just using HSL steel ingots again. And it's a drill, that's it, it's a drill. Okay, so now onto the extractor. So we're gonna need um, some Neverack as well, um, some plant, plank, piece of stone, another base plate, another shaft unit, uh, an impeller, and two steel ingots from Rotary Craft. Doot, doot. Okay, steel, steel, uh, impeller, uh, did I put this wrong already? Okay, then stone, then wood, there we go, our extractor. And if we look in our Rotary Craft book and go down to machine processing, here we go, rotary craft. So you give it this little instruction. And we're gonna need a uh, water supplied as well. So we've got those fluid pipes we made uh, in the first episode, I think. And this gives us an idea of how much uh, power is required. Um, so as you can see, it's got stage one to four, the power it's required. And then here we go, stage one and four requires at least 512 Newton meters of torque and four is 256. Um, stage two is 2,480 rads and stage three is 8,192 8, rads. <clears throat> now for the gasoline engine, it's going to be outputting at 128 newton meters of force at 512 rads. So as you can see here for the first stage uh, torque, 512, which is, rough, which is actually four times the amount of newton meters of the gasoline engine is outputting, we'll need to make a uh, wonderful gear to reach that, right? We're gonna do a bit more than that. Um, Cause we can see here in stage three, we need uh, 8,192 rads a second. And currently the gearbox, I mean the gasoline engine only does 512 and this is 16 times. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make a, uh, a one to 16 gearbox um, and what we'll be doing is we're getting it switch modes between torque and uh, speed just so we can reach the torque levels 
for all the stages and all the speed levels. So it's, let's get started into making that gearbox. So I think, okay, that's all my spare stuff. We're gonna need that liquid pipe as well. And we're gonna need uh, ethanol crystals too. And our little tool. So let's just chuck that away. And let's just grab, okay, so we've already got enough. Let's grab those sticks, which is gonna need. And I can remember the rest of the recipe. Okay, so we can just do this in a work table. Du, 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 du. And let's chuck the wood in there as well. And make our, we're gonna make a, a wooden gearbox. Now you can make gearboxes out of steel, diamond, bedrock, and it all depends on how much force you're transferring through them. But for this setup, you only need wood because wood can handle the, the, the power and the speed. So we need to make uh, two wooden gears, like that. Clear this. We put sticks up there as well. And we need to make a gear. So it's like that. And so we've made our two times gear. Okay, so we need to make uh, two more wooden gears, like this. Uh, another 2x gear. And then put the 2x gear in there, like that. So now we've got 2x gear and 2x gear plus the sticks. That now makes a 4x gear. So let's just make uh, quite a few wooden gears. Gonna need quite a few. Okay, let's just make 10. Uh, and then 2x gears. <coughs> Two of them. And that should be a 3x gear. So now we've got two 4x gears. We'll put that in there. And 4x. I not got that right. Let's look at the recipe again. I'm pretty sure I got this right. 16 wood gear is an 8 gear and a 2 gear. We know how to make 2 gears. How do we make 4, 2? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's make another two gear like that put that there uh with our four gear there we go makes us our <coughs> uh, eight x gear and we're gonna need a two x gear do we not um two x gear and then two plus two times eight is 16 there we go and we've got a 4x gear. So we've got a gearbox here. <coughs> oh, my voice is going to crack now. <coughs> it's like going through puberty or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. There we go. A wooden 16 to 1 gearbox. Excellent. Okay, so we've got a fluid pipes, uh, FNL for the engine, the engine, the bevel gear. The extractor, got some ore to run through the extractor, and we've got our lubricant pipes. So now we've just got to set up everything. Um, I've already made some lubricant, uh, roughly 54, 55 bar uh, buckets full here. Um, with these uh, Billcraft pipes, I mean tanks, the lubricant ones can uh, input from the sides and they can output from below. So let's just go this way over here as you can see the pipes contain quite a lot so let's just put our gearbox in first remember gearboxes that have uh, that don't have lubricant in them will uh, damage themselves and subsequently will break but they'll always they'll also lose power as they get damaged so you can see it's 0% damage because it's fully lubricant. It's outputting no watts because we haven't got an engine hooked up to it. It's in torque mode. So it's ratio is 16. So for every bit of speed that goes through it, we get torque, essentially. We, well, you times this torque by 16 at the same time you divide the speed by 16. That's how roughly how it works. And then here we go, put our bubble gear on the output, which is the red side. So it's got many colored sides, and as you can see here, uh, if we 
press with our little screwdriver, it says that the blue is the top. So we press with our screwdriver and we get the G uh, GUI. Press the blue to get the output being top. As you can see, it's now changed. Okay, then we can put our extractor. You know, I should have put that water bucket thing all the way. Okay, I may have put this thing in the wrong place. Dang. Like that. As you can see, we've got, oh, let's get that any eye out of the way. Power, so for all the full stages. Uh, have I got enough fluid pipes? Hopefully I do. Let's see if we can... Nine. Because I do not have enough steel to travel all that way. You know what? I think the answer might be no. Okay, I shall be right back to get some more. Okay guys, I'm back and oh, I've got enough pipes to make the distance. Uh, stages uh, two and three of the extractor require water, so that's why we're doing it. So the water should go through. Let's go turn this engine on first, so we get the uh, pressure. Look at that stupid engine noise. Okay, so now we've got this uh, gearbox in torque mode and the bevel gear set up. We can now chuck our uh, gasoline engine down. There we go, red being the output. Let's chuck some ethanol fuel in there to get going. So now it's going to run for 47 minutes and the gearbox is working. And we get the GUI. You can see how we're exceeding, this is this one is stage one, this is stage two, stage three and stage four. So we're getting the maximum speed for, well, we're getting the required speed for stage one and we're getting the required torque for stage one. So we can start putting our copper ore in there. And so we're going to run this, get one piece of run through first and I'll tell you how to get the stage two and stage three to work. So we're just going to get one piece to go through first. Almost there. Almost. Actually, while it's doing that, I'm going to press the U button and we'll go to the NEI for, uh, where is it, extractor. So here we go, it's got a 50% duplication chance per uh, stage. So 50% here, 50% here, 50% here. So you get an average of 5.06 units per ore, which is much better than the pulverizer the most rate, which is only like about 2. And the pulverizer maybe 2 and a bit of something else. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, nothing's coming through here because we haven't got the required speed. But if you get your screwdriver, shift, right click, it turns the gearbox into speed mode. As you can see, we're still doing 65 kilowatts. But it's going much faster. And as you can see, now we've got the speed and the torque for stage two and three. But we can't do stage one and four. So ideally what you want to do is you want to leave it on stage one for a bit, manually switch it over to stage two and three through the gearbox, and then switch it back to the torque. Okay, so we'll just finish that one. As you can see, we've already got five, which is much better out of one. And okay, so let's switch this one back. Go back to torque mode. And takes a little while. It's now doing stage one and stage four. While I was cooking up, um, I was also mentioned that um, if you want this machine to go faster, you can uh, input the power you're inputting. If you can get it to uh, be at the required uh, torque level and increase the speed, the rads, uh, you can get more process out of it. Now. For stage one and stage four, um, we can see in the book here, plus, plus, plus. Okay. Oh, 
next one. Here we go. Go across. We notice that stage four and one, one and four, sorry, are, uh, are limited by the torque here. And stage two and three are speed limited. Um, but when you're doing with torque, um, say stage one is, well, stage one is 512 newton meters of torque. If you put in 1024, double the newton meters force, right? It's not going to double the speed of which it processes, right? In fact, it will go exactly the same speed. Uh, so whenever it requires uh, torque primarily, uh, adding more torque or adding more speed doesn't increase the process speed. However, if it's speed that it requires, such in stage two and stage three more than torque, um, say if this one's 2000, if you say put more speed into it, you will get uh, an increased speed, right? However, this machine, because stage four, the last stage is torque limited, you're gonna have an issue when uh, you start getting a bottleneck up here when this one fills. And so we got copper flakes. I should also mention that you get this extra box here for uh, extra storage. It, it also has a chance of giving you uh, another item depending on what item you put into the first box. So some ores may give you uh, another an extra bit. So when you're doing iron, there's a chance of getting a aluminium flake at the end as well. So that's about it. Uh, if we uh, go look at the some of the never ores that you get. I've got some in here, such as the sapphire ore. If I press U, as you can see, smelting you get two sapphire ore. So it's probably better if you uh, smelt it into normal sapphire ore first. Uh, okay, here you go. Uh, if you spend duplicate five point six, osmium uh, ore. I have seen one that does give you a rough chance of getting seven. I should also mention that if you get diamond in an ore form, so if you silk touch diamond out, you do get um, the same thing happens with ore. So you can get like five, six diamonds out of one diamond ore. So it's uh, excellent. Not that one. Oh, here we go. Here's that uh, an extra iron ore flake. So that can be smelted, these smel can be smelted into ingots. So that's excellent. Hmm. Well, I think that's about it for today guys. Uh, if you liked it, please like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, if you want any requests, let me know. Um, any comments, let me know. Uh, and until next time guys. Nah.